what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about a few different topics in this video here today we'll be talking about scream 6 we'll be talking about jeepers creepers and that tv show we'll be talking about halloween ends and then we'll be talking about harry potter so just to kick it off with scream 6 scream 6 apparently is going to have several chase scenes that are reminiscent of gale weather sequence in scream 2 this is coming from jenna ortega who revealed this in a recent interview on a red carpet she was doing related to i think some type of latino celebration now this has some people myself included excited because there's already been speculation about chase scenes happening in this movie the lack of them not being in five being a reason to also include them in six and then of course where exactly in scream six could we see these sequences takes place now the bodega that melissa and jenna have been spotted in on set multiple times while filming is number one for potential locations of where this could occur some people have, have speculated that maybe one of the characters actually works at the bodega and what happens is they run into the bodega only for them to be led into a alley that or the into an alley that the bodega leads to where ghostface will chase them even further something like that could be pretty intense and suspenseful um uh, you could of course have another chase sequence occur at blackmore which we know is the campus where chad mindy and uh tara will be attending college along with their other friends that we're going to meet played by leon and liberato and everyone else and then of course a train station chase sequence or something in new york like a new york alley would certainly be fun to see on screen in fact i think barrera herself made comments in the past about how scary it is to be in a big city with ghost face after you so like my assumptions off of that was that we might also get a crowd chase sequence that could be reminiscent of what we saw in jason takes manhattan i'm predicting we'll have three chase scenes in total all together with one of them definitely including gail weathers who will try to outdo the sequence that she did in scream 2 now those are things that Again, Jenna Ortega herself made clear chase scenes are confirmed and you don't have to wait too much longer to see those chase scenes because Scream 6 is now like what, four months away, less than four months away. So hopefully we'll have the trailer by the new year or around Christmas time, but we'll see what happens. Just to jump into Halloween Ends, talk a little bit more about this Halloween Ends novelization out there and these details that were not translated on screen. So the Halloween Ends novelization includes that the character of Corey Cunningham actually tried to commit suicide in the same spot that Jeremy died. This is a portion of the novel i guess where it's making it clear that several different people would have tried to commit suicide during this during this film or during the events of this novelization that did not make it on screen now here's where i'm glad this wasn't brought to screen because according to the dread central article this is from Corey. It says Corey even tries to die by suicide by jumping from the same spot poor Jeremy, the boy he babysat, fell from. But somehow he survives a fall without any injuries and continues his murder spree. Now, the fact that this boy survived the fall might have been an eye rolling thing to see if they brought this to screen to me and to many others because it doesn't sound like the novelization makes it clear why he survived the jump or did not have a single scratch on him on top of that remember many people already feel that michael was portrayed too weakly in ends so then propelling Corey even further to the high heavens like this would definitely not sit well with some folks it could of course be that evil force that that michael passed along to him that's obviously what i would assume it's coming from because otherwise that makes no sense you don't just jump down <laughs> from the heights of which jeremy fell and died and then you yourself willingly jump and you have not a single scratch on you i'm just glad they didn't do that because michael again was already portrayed very weak in the movie so if we would have saw something like this that wouldn't have sat well with me i'm sure it would have gone over with some people who think that Corey cunningham was written very well uh i won't say that Corey cunningham was written were written poorly i just think he wasn't written to the full potential that he that he was demonstrating because of where they thrusted him in by the time this trilogy was over now just to touch on jeepers creepers and this tv show jeepers creepers and that tv show again it's not confirmed what i went over in a few videos was an outline of what's what the creator has had planned and what had happened to the cathedral script that's all that was that was a first season of an outline of what he wants to do with the series if it were to happen now while that outline was very good we do not need multiple seasons of this if this tv show actually were to happen do not be surprised if it's done in the form of a mini series honestly that's probably for the best jeepers creepers isn't an ip that i would say needs to exist beyond what the planned trilogy once was because i know many of us have been wanting to just have a solid trilogy for the longest and we're just not going to ever get that because of who created it and that disgusting history that he is the one that has to live with and unfortunately he doesn't deserve to demonstrate any of his real talent but if 
if somebody presents it to them, that's not on any of us. That's all really on them, of course. The mythos of the monster shouldn't be fully revealed, but you can end the series by effectively destroying the monster in a mini series that traces its history over many civilizations, like how the outline had, while picking up with the characters we first met in Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2. Then again, you end the series, this done in the form of a mini series, by having the monster defeated and our survivors move on from their source of trauma after it has been erased from the world for good. Trisha should be involved, Jack should be involved, and several other other key players from the first two movies should be involved but this shouldn't be more than 12 episodes it should be 12 episodes that are designed to just put an end to this once and for all so that way you have something to go back and rewatch. you can watch jeepers creepers 1 jeepers creepers 2 and then you can turn on this mini series that effectively wraps and closes the book on this monster the recent rumor i was told about why i'm discussing this right now is that if it is to happen that's all it will be a mini series version of cathedral and that's honestly probably what's best i'm also being told that the hope is that it will be picked up by netflix or hulu that doesn't mean it's going to happen but that is the hope right now chances are this is not going to happen that's probably the highest chance that it's not going to happen but if it were to happen doing it in the form of a miniseries would be best now just to touch on harry potter here really quick apparently harry potter in the cursed child film adaptation is what warner brothers wants to do or they're going to try to push to do this even further once again that's the plan they want to revive this world after the failure of Fantastic Beasts. But J.K. Rowling has not agreed to this, and apparently this was mentioned to her once before and she shut it down. So now it seems the hope is that she'll change her mind after the failures of Fantastic Beasts. They reportedly, according to Puck, who, who is the source for this, want this to be a two-film adaptation. And while that's somewhat exciting, I'm concerned about how they plan to fix a stage play that bothers so many fans, like myself included, because of its retcons that people don't agree with. I'm in that camp and you already have the casting issues of securing Daniel, Emma and Rupert who are not in agreement with some of the stuff going on with the creator right now. It's just a complete mess unfortunately of where the wizarding world finds itself in when it relates to making any new thrilling content and the challenges that face it i think it can be done but you're gonna have to tweak that screenplay that screenplay is not perfect if anything i'd say it's a giant mess i'm sure it translates better on stage but reading it it's full of so many retcons that are unnecessary we'll see what happens with this if it moves forward but you guys can let me know what you think about all that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video